Bob and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Howdy, folks. I'm Bob Schrupp, physical therapist. Brad Heine, physical therapist. Yeah, I'm ready? Yeah, we're Together working on we're it. the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Today, we're going to talk about, we're going to do a comparison. Two That's right. bands versus large loop bands. What is better? You must know this. Right. If you're on the fence, you don't know which one to buy, we're going to show you exactly the benefits and the cons and what's going to work best I for you. I don't really can go wrong, Brad. Uh, by the way, if you're new to our <laughs> channel, please take a second to subscribe to us. Because we're doing a giveaway. Oh, yeah. We're doing a massive massage gun giveaway. We got four massage guns and we got one handheld massage. That's right. So they're beautiful. They yeah, all fit in whatever the occasion you need. Uh, <laughs> just go to bobandbrad.com, go to the giveaway section, and you can sign up. Or you can go to Facebook. It'll be pinned to the top of the page. That's right, the top of the page, Bob. Banding, you know, using resistance bands has come extremely popular in the last few years. I think. Tom Brady is one of the best examples right. of an elite athlete. High-level athlete, obviously. Right. The GOAT. Yeah, and what is he, 50 years old? He's, no, he's, he's 40, 40, 44. I believe 44. And he's playing football. At the highest level. Right, with all the rest of the great 24-year-olds. Right, you know? right. Uh, and this is what he uses. He does not use. Easier on the joints. Right. The book that he has, I, I don't think he uses weights at all anymore. No, I don't think so. Exactly. Uh, so anyways, other benefits that you can have with uh, either two band, the typical two band, or like Bob has, the loop bands. Uh, they're both great products. I use both of them. Uh, some of the benefits uh, oppose both of them as opposed to weights. If you were wondering, maybe I should get weights instead. Well, these are cheaper. Yep. Uh, they're take, take up less space. Much less space. Right. Uh, and also, you don't have to buy so many accessories right. like a heavy bench, you know, yep. a big rack for squatting, that big steel stuff that costs money exactly. gets in your way. Uh, you know, if you want that stuff, that's fine. But if you don't, these you will get. These will do the job. They will. All right. You know, if you want big, massive muscles, right. maybe these aren't going to. But if yeah. you want fitness, strength, balance, all those things. Athleticism. Right. The, these are the things. Uh, they're effortless for resistance changing. You don't have to put weights on you just simply change you can put more bands on right or you can move away further from the from the uh, anchor the point, anchor point. Yes. exactly uh now with weights you can only lift weights with a vertical plane though the resistance is always going down right. right with this you'll find out you can go vertical you can go the other direction up you can pull from angles the horizontal horizontal yep. angle yeah and that's what makes it so handy right and they're portable. Yes. Uh, you just throw them in your lunch bag. And that's where you're going to probably want to use the lunch bag. You're going to want to use the wall anchor. I mean, the door anchor. Right. Yeah. And we're going to talk about that a little bit, okay. too. You can bring for I'm a sorry, portable anchor. Far here. You know, you go to a hotel room and, and use these. Um, so anyways, there's a lot of benefits. Mm -hmm. the, the next thing I do want to talk about, Bob, is we do have our own. I'm not putting a plug in for us but if you want a good anchor you can guarantee that the ones that have our name on them and the handles and everything they're yeah, they're these good are really excellent handles we were very picky about that yeah and and so are the stretch bands yeah. and whatnot but you can get a lot of other ones that are right. good quality as well so i would do your best with that uh next thing this is what they come with the loops typically um, four or five loops and two handles. Ours come with two handles. Not all of them come with okay. the handles. Two um, handles. And ours does come with, not all of them comes with one of these. And this is for you can put into a uh, door. door yes. uh, we use wall anchors or you can go to a fence post or a, a the wall anchor has to handrail. Be, the wall anchors have to be bought separately. Right, that and is they true. They have to be attached into a stud into the wall. Right. And we'll show you how those work. This will be very clear. Uh, and the ankle strap comes okay. with the tubes. It does not come with the uh, loop straps, right. but you don't, you don't need, need one. Them because you can loop your ankle inside. Right, and it's very right. convenient. So right. you don't you don't need one of those. So, uh, and again, the price between is pretty similar. Uh, you know, there's a few dollars difference, but it's, it's not a game changer in, in my book. In, in right. So, shall we demonstrate? Sure. Okay. This, you start with the this is a complete body demonstration. We got seven different exercises, and we're going to demonstrate how you do it with uh, the loop bands, the two bands, and then if you have an anchor system. Sure. 
All right, whether it's into the door with the strap provided or you have wall anchors or you go off your bed uh, post. I'm just going to do curls here using the loop bands and you can actually get a pretty good resistance All right. here. So Bob's using one foot. I do the same thing with the tube band. And if I want more resistance, or Bob could do this too, you put two feet in there and that offers more resistance. Right. Now, if you want to, if you have something to anchor down the wall, now we can just go down on the wall anchor, whip it on there quickly, and uh, this works really well. Um, and you can work like this. If you want more resistance, you simply walk away from the wall and do that. Yeah, what I do, Brad, sometimes I actually double them up. Yeah. I, yeah I, when Bob was really I, trying yeah. to pump up that yeah, bicep. The final few reps. Yeah. I'll get that feel, I feel strong like bull. Yeah, yeah, there we go. There you go. This is, this is the way I do it, literally, Bob. I really. Yeah, I, I know you like this. It's I really, do. I, it really isolates. Yeah. The, the uh, bicep muscles. It forces isolation and good posture, and it helps you get up. Yeah. All right, triceps. Should we talk about triceps, sure. Bob? So what I like to do, I mean, if you're going to use these, um, you really can't just go around your body. You can't go like this. Yeah, the, the, you run out of length. They're too short because so of the handles. You go around actually a chair. Nope, oh, you missed the chair. Missed the chair. Yeah, there you go. Okay, and I'm going to grab like this. And you can work on your triceps. Yep, a nice seated position. This actually works pretty good, Brad. Yeah. And you can do it this way. I don't like to do it this way, but you can if you don't have a shoulder problem and it feels comfortable. This is done by a lot of people. Well, it certainly can be done with the wall anchors, too. Yeah, ex exactly, Bob. You can, you know, I wish these weren't set for you, Bob, because they're too <laughs> tall. Um, but I'm going to show this is the way I do them. And this is my preferred way to do it. This is the only. likes to be on the floor, apparently. Well, it really is a nice way to I have this. done this one, Brad. I agree with you. I have done this one. It isolates so well. Yes. My elbows, my shoulders are planted to the floor, and I just change the resistance by yep. doing the inchworm to come out. And if you want to do the double one and really focus, yeah, that yep. works as well. So I do. Oh. Oops. Oh, is that better? Sorry about that, people Sorry. out there in YouTube land. Yeah, I like to do dips and then follow up with uh, some of the isolation strengthening. Oh, sure. All right, so there we go. Shall we go to the chest? Sure. Again, you can go around a chair. Yep. I'll do it right this time. And you can do this with the loops or the tubes. They're, they're pretty similar. I think the handles work a little better on the tubes because they got some carabiner clips that work better, but that's not a big deal. There's an advantage to the loop, but I'm gonna we're coming now, up to I that. If I move my seat forward more, I get more resistance. Sure. Oh, yeah. there we go. Now this is an alternative, but you cannot use the handles. I'm gonna grab up here, and it works. It's okay. It's acceptable. Sure. Not my favorite. I'd rather do mine on the floor with the handles. The other option is, you, you know, if you have punching, if you have something at this level, this is what I wanted to use before, and I, I didn't think of it. And you can simply work it like yeah. this. As a matter of fact, that goes good with the biceps like that as well. And then you're working core as well, which is a really good advantage, right. which doesn't happen on the floor. Exactly. Wow, Bob, we're we're doing we're well. Right along. Yeah, exactly. Now squats. Sure. Um, with the bands, I don't use the bands for the tube for for squats, but it works okay. This I'll go like this over, and this works fairly good. This is a personal thing. Yeah, for me, I found that just air air squats are yeah. enough for me. Uh, this is where I use the heavier one, and you can double loops up if you want. If this isn't enough, they used to have a bigger one than this, but there's been an issue with. What do they call it? Cost. Yeah, su supply and demand yeah, and cost. Right. Now, this is the way I really like using a loop band for this. For and those it works scratch. a little bit of posture too, right, Brad? Yeah. I mean, oh yeah, here. yeah, because I'm, I'm back and I'm back like this. Right, uh, right. Keeps your back straight. I'm right? not doing this. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we. In fact, if you do it wrong, it kind of punishes you. Right. Right. Exactly. Now I'm going to so keep it feedback. right there. I'm going to pull up here. Now this is for the hip. Sideways walking, working on hip abductors. 
Now this works pretty good with a loop. I actually like it a little better with the handles, which you could use with their, usually you can, right. anything with a large loop you can do with the handles. And see, I've got two bands on here. You can put three, you can put four. Uh, vary the resistance on this by where you put your hands. Okay, good. Yeah, both I'm starting to get tired, Bob. Yeah, I, can, I can hear it on a voice. Now there is one thing that works, you know, if you have your loop, take a smaller loop, put that in the anchor, and this is why you don't need. Uh, oh, right, why you don't need this strap. Yeah, hip this way, hip this way. It does jump around yeah, like that well, a little bit. I was gonna say, it, runs, it, one, it wants to climb up your, climb up your leg. I, yeah. I'll get it out yet, Brad. So this is the option when you have the loop band here. Uh, this is where the anchor shines. You just simply, you don't have to spend a lot of time with that. And I'm gonna simply pop this off here. And as a matter of fact, I'm just gonna use the yellow one. That way you can see it. Yep, there we go. And, and now I can yeah, this, this is better than the loop. I have to apologize. I don't do a lot of these. These are open chain. I do the closed chain yeah. ones like we did before. Yeah, but these are that. nice, especially for balance. Oh. Yeah, very good. Bob, but wait, Bob, there's more. No, he wants to work the core a little bit. Yeah. So he's doing, instead of planks, you're doing standing planks in a sense. Yes. Well, this is one of my favorite. Sure. And I think your favorite too. And you can do this with either the tube or the loop. And you go out like this and you stir the pot. Core is tight, and I go farther out. And of all the exercises we show, this looks like the easiest. Yep. But it's probably one of the harder ones. Oh, yeah. It really is deceptive. It's exactly. really a lot more work than you think it is. Exactly. It's working that core, and you don't see it. Right. So, so again, you know, if we were going to do it with this, this works really handy dandy. Uh, just put this up here. And these things are just handy as can be. It is hard for me to decide sometimes which is the better exercise, the loop or the band. I personally have a set of both and I use them both. I do use the bands, the two bands yes. with this is my primary way to work out sure. for 70% of my exercises, I think. Now, this is a really neat way. If you like planks, but you're getting bored with them, watch this. This is going to be your baby. Put this in here. Uh, I'm going to need you to move, Bob. Sure, I'll get all the way. We've done this before. It's been a while. And it's called planks with movement. Oops, did you just hear that, Tanner? <laughs> so I don't like static planks. But if we do planks like this, this. Makes a that big was, difference. That is work. Yep. I was going to say, I can barely do that without the band. <laughs> yeah, and it really is. It's for those advanced people, and I don't do a lot of these. I have a number of other exercises that are good for my spondylolisthesis. That's my excuse for working less harder. <laughs> <laughs> but that's a really nice way to yeah. get those high-level people. Wow, All right, Brad, you've done very well once again. So, Bob, what's better for these people? I would, I actually like the, the bands better. The, the, the uh, tube? I actually like the tube better. Okay, so Bob's voting for the tube bands. And actually, I guess. Well, if along I, with the wall anchor. If I didn't have the wall anchor, I'd go with the other one. With the loop band. Yeah. yeah. I, I would agree. And for traveling, these, yeah, this is what I use because yes. I don't put the handle in with it because you can do all these exercises without the handle yes. if you're not doing them every day and it's a, you know, it's a well, one-time one deal. by your desk and just work on posture. Sure. Yeah. You know, so. Yeah. So uh, I hope we've... We haven't cleared up anything. Else. Yeah, it's clear as mud, huh? Yeah. <laughs> They're both good. Either way, just follow these and you're going to do well. You're going to get stronger, better balance, and better and, looking. And less... <laughs> See? Less pain. Very good. <laughs>